Hello everyone, very good evening. This is Amarnath from MG Shanai. Today I would like to showcase you how to use uh, eHub by MG. So the purpose of this application is it is a one-stop solution for all the EV like you know uh, customers. It is not only for MG and it is for all the brands. And the beauty is it is under one umbrella without restricting any service provider. And uh, the best part of this is eHub was introduced for the MG Windsor EV customers. Whomever is taking the delivery before 31st of December, they would be available for one year of free charging at all the like you know uh, public st stations. And let me showcase you how it works. So this MG eHub application is available both Android and App Store. So I have already installed. So you can see my profile in the left corner. So here, Amarnath, and you can see my vehicles. The venture is already there, and you can even like you know enter the details also, vehicle details. And if you want any other vehicle also, that can be added over here. And save charges. Save charges is something that it is your frequent charges as like point of interest. And apart from this, let me take you. So, for example, if you see in this, you will have different, like, you know, entire access to the maps, like where and all the charging stations are available. And you can search by nearby charges. It will ask for location. And this is these are all the nearest charging stations that are available to me. And what I do is, in this MG Hub, you have two options, one is payable and non-payable, but especially for Windsor EV customers. Now, let me take you there. So go to filter. So if you go to search or filter, you will find in the left hand side, you will find availability, connector. That means connector means what are the type of charger you have or power rating. So based on the rating, you will find that means 40 kilowatt, 25 kilowatt, all those things. And next, brand. If you see brand, you will find almost 3,359 charges and different brands like Pulse, Charge Zone, Static, Shell, Xeon, HP, BPCL, Adani, Charge Hub, Lion Charge, then GoGo, MG Charge, Relax, Highway, next Kadam, EV Ali. Thunder Plus Mobile, Next Word Mobility, Electric Fuel, Aeronome, Moving. Likewise, you will find so many charges. And apart from this, you have there is an option called Payable. If you click on this, you have two options. One is only payable and only non-payable. If you click only on payable and deselecting, now you will find the charges that are payable. So here, the nearest charger from me, from my location, is like Shell charge at Poru. So now I'm at Valsaravakam. From here, the Poru is hardly like you know less than two kilometers. Now, for example, if I navigate from here, it will take me there. Right. So this is less than 2.5 kilometers. You can reach the charging station. And after reaching there, you can see the type of charger. It is 60 kilowatt CCS type 2. Whether it is available or plugged in or in use, you can see and scan QR code. So once after reaching there, you can scan the code and directly charge a vehicle. So with this payable options, you can directly charge the vehicle at free of cost. And there is something called non-payable and if you select non-payable and you deselect payable now you will find again so like xeon you find and relax so for example if i click on this xeon view charger okay now it will show you charge via partner app so this means to say that this is the non-payable charge in, in case if i click on this it will navigate me to their, their 
application to download so where i have to install relax application or uh, or So charge by our partner app. So in this case, in case if you charge by Relax or this is like you know by Xeon. So now I need to install Xeon application and I need to charge it. Post that like whatever the invoice that is being generated there, I need to submit in the Google form. So now to get that Google form, I already have a saved link in my WhatsApp. So this is the link which I'll give in the video description. So click on this. Go to Chrome. Now you will find MG Windsor public charging reimbursement form. So I have already used my email. Now once again re-enter your email ID, the mobile number in case to cross check, cross check or cross verify the details and upload the invoice copy, whatever the invoice copy that means the bill that was being generated for the charging you can upload with the like you know what document amount to be reimbursed for example if you have charged for thousand rupees or two thousand rupees the amount can be re-entered and date of charging when was the uh, like you know date of charging that happened here and enter the upi id so whatever the upi id that needs to be reimbursed you can enter this and submit it and once after the submission